Let's talk about tooth sensitivity, a very common thing, a very common question. And if you talk to anybody, you will probably hear 99.9% .9 of people say they have some form of tooth sensitivity. This could be their teeth are sensitive if they have anything hot cold, sweets, if they're biting on something, where there's many different causes for different things, of course, such as if your teeth are sensitive when you're biting on something, that could be one issue. But if they're only sensitive when you're eating cold things, that's a completely different issue. What if your teeth are sensitive when you're biting down cold things, hot things, sweet things? That's another thing too. But the rule of thumb is there are certain things that make the majority of us sensitive. And there are certain things at home that we can do to find the solution and can easily solve all of that. So first things first is make sure to be using a soft toothbrush. A hard toothbrush can actually be brushing away some of that enamel over time, as well as that protective gum that's around the teeth, protecting the teeth. If that gum is brushed away over time as well, either the tooth enamel or the gum that's supporting the tooth, then the root root surface of the tooth starts to show and that is where the nerve endings start to happen and this is where you get the sensitivity. It's actually called gum recession when the gum starts to shrink down. What about if you're sensitive because you are brushing too hard? So if your toothbrush isn't soft and it's a hard toothbrush, you're brushing too hard and that's where all of that kind of comes into play. You're brushing too hard and that in turn causes gum recession which causes the which means that the roots of the teeth are starting to be exposed which is causing the sensitivity. How do you solve that? Using the right toothpaste and using a soft toothbrush makes all the difference. So we talked about the soft toothbrush part, but also use a Sensodyne or a sensitive type of toothpaste. It doesn't have to be by the company Sensodyne, but use a sensitive type of toothpaste with potassium nitrate in it. Make sure it has that key ingredient because that can actually block the dental tubules from telling, you know, from our nerves saying that things are in pain. So you need that toothpaste and you need to use it. I hate to say the word need, but it's true or it doesn't really work every day, twice a day in the morning and at night. If you're only using it once a day or every other day, it's not going to work because every time we're eating or drinking something, we're taking away that protective layer of the toothpaste, which is why they want us to do it twice a day because toothpaste can only work for so long. And do not rinse with water afterwards and do not put water on your toothbrush because you don't want to dilute those protective um, ingredients of the toothpaste. But what if you're clenching or grinding? That's a different thing entirely. If you're clenching or grinding during the day or at night, that's 300 pounds of pressure that your teeth are grinding against each other. That's going to cause sensitive teeth and it's also probably going to cause a sore and sensitive mouth as well, which can cause sensitive teeth. So definitely have your dental hygienist have a look at that if you suspect you might be clenching or grinding. It could show up on your teeth where they're starting to wear down or your jaw joints here are very stiff. You might be able to feel that or if you can't, to yet you're still in the early stages but your dental hygienist can definitely feel that for you to really see if there's any stiffness there the possibility that you're clenching or grinding if you're doing it at night you might not know it but getting a night guard is the solution to that problem and then over time you will no longer be sensitive what if you're eating things that are highly acidic or drinking things that are highly acidic such as lemon water um, like Coke, Pepsi, any type of pop or soda, or what about apples? What about certain foods that are just more acidic? Even coffee has acidity to it. That can be causing sensitive teeth. So if you're not using a soft toothbrush, you're not using the right toothpaste, you're eating and drinking all of these acidic things, and maybe you're even clenching or grinding all of these things are just adding to those sensitive teeth. Last but not least, it could be something as simple as a cavity. Not that cavities are simple, but if you get that cavity fixed, if they remove the cavity and give you a filling, then you have no more sensitive teeth. So there's many different things that play a role in this, but definitely have it looked at by a dental hygienist if you're not sure which one you do have. Once we know the cause, we can find the solution because believe it or not, most things have a solution to them. They just have to be fixed, whether it be a filling, a night guard, a mouth guard, using a different toothpaste, using the right toothbrush, not brushing as hard, or it could be something more serious, of course, where you might need a dental crown, you might need a root canal, you might even need the tooth taken out. But these are extreme cases. And also gum surgery. Have you ever heard about that? Where we take um, tissue from the roof of your mouth, your palate, 
smell it and we put it over that area that is exposed. Remember how I talked about the root surface being exposed? If toothpaste just doesn't work because it's too far gone. If using a soft toothbrush doesn't work, all of those things that I've talked about, if they don't work, you can have gum surgery to put that tissue to cover up the area that's causing you sensitivity and that can work too. But those are more extreme cases. Mainly in this video, I was talking about the easier cases. If we can find a cause, we can find a solution. So I hope this helped you guys. Let me know if any questions. I'll leave the link for the blog article down below. Have a look at it. There's lots there for you.